We're counting down the seven most baffling anomalies of 3i slash Atlas. The interstellar visitor even NASA can't fully explain. From suspicious alignments and strange optical signatures to chemistry that defies every comet model, each entry on this list pushes the boundaries of what we know about objects from beyond our solar system. The ranking moves from headline-grabbing coincidences to the deepest physical mysteries, teasing everything from missing photos to wild theories about hidden technology. Some claims are rooted in hard data, others in jaw-dropping speculation. But which anomaly ranks as the most unexplainable of all? Let's begin the countdown with number 7. Number 7. The inbound path of 3i slash Atlas passes within 9 degrees of the legendary WOW signal coordinates, a detail that has fueled late-night debates and viral speculation since the comet's discovery. The WOW signal, a 60-second radio burst detected in 1977 by Ohio State's Big Ear Telescope, came from a pinpoint in Sagittarius. Its beam was less than a degree wide, but the comet's approach lands just outside that narrow window in the same general patch of sky. It's a proximity that sounds uncanny at first glance, 9 degrees is less than 1% of the celestial sphere. Yet, in astronomical terms, it's not close enough to suggest any physical link. No repeat of the WOW radio burst has ever been recorded, and the vast gulf of time and space between the two events makes a direct connection all but impossible. Still, the coincidence has proven irresistible, showing up in podcasts, message boards, and even research preprints. Statistically, with only three known interstellar visitors, any directional overlap stands out. But astronomers warn against reading too much into it. With thousands of possible sky alignments, patterns like this are bound to emerge by chance, especially when the search for meaning starts after the fact. The WOW region overlap is a textbook case of what statisticians call posterior selection bias. The human tendency to notice matches only after the outcome is known. It's an eye-catching detail, but with no diagnostic power, just a cosmic coincidence that keeps the mystery alive as we turn to harder physical puzzles. Number 6. The orbit of 3 slash Atlas cuts almost flat through the solar system, its inclination measured at just over 3 degrees above the ecliptic, a razor-thin alignment in astronomical terms. For context, most interstellar objects arrive from steep angles, dropping in from high above or below the solar plane. Oumuamua crossed at 122 degrees, Borisov at 44 degrees, both on sharply sloped paths. Here, the trajectory hugs the same disk where the planets travel, nearly parallel to Earth's own orbit. Statistically, the odds of a random interstellar visitor arriving within 5 degrees of the ecliptic are less than half a percent. Calculations from the Minor Planet Center and JPL Horizons confirm the measured inclination, 3.18 degrees, with uncertainties under a 20th of a degree. Under standard models, only about 4 out of every 1,000 interstellar objects would be expected to match this alignment by chance. Some astronomers point to observational bias. Earth-based surveys are most sensitive to objects crossing near the ecliptic, but even accounting for this, the flat approach stands out. With just three confirmed interstellar visitors so far, the pattern is hard to ignore. The geometry raises questions. Is it coincidence, selection effect, or a clue to deeper dynamics? For now, the low inclination path remains a statistical outlier, setting up the next anomaly. How this trajectory shaped the comet's planetary encounters. Number 5. Polarization tells astronomers how light scatters off a comet's dust, revealing the size, shape, and composition of those grains. For 3i slash Atlas, early polarimetric reports have triggered debate across the field. Observers using the Nordic Optical Telescope and Gemini North logged polarization values that remained strongly negative, even at phase angles where most comets flip to positive. At a Sun-Comet Earth angle of 30 degrees, the measured polarization dipped below minus 2%, an extreme reading for any comet, let alone an interstellar visitor. Normally, comets show negative polarization only at small phase angles, near zero, with the signal turning positive as the viewing angle widens. The inversion point, where polarization crosses zero, usually falls near 20 to 25 degrees. Beyond that, 
A typical comet's dust scatters light in a way that lines up perpendicular to the incoming sunlight. Here, 3 i slash Atlas's dust seems to do the opposite, holding negative values well past the expected threshold. Instrument teams checked for calibration errors, atmospheric interference, and even stray light from Mars, but the numbers held. The effect was repeatable across multiple nights and different telescopes using both R-band and V-band filters. Such persistent negative polarization hints at dust grains with unusual structure, perhaps large fluffy aggregates or a composition richer in carbon or complex organics than most solar system comets. Some researchers draw parallels to rare carbon-rich comets seen decades ago, but even those did not sustain negative polarization at such wide angles. The anomaly remains provisional, pending further campaigns and peer review, but the data have already shifted the conversation. If confirmed, these optical properties could mark 3i slash Atlas as chemically distinct, setting the stage for the next anomaly, what its dust is actually made of. Number 4. Spectroscopic surveys of 3i slash Atlas have revealed a chemical fingerprint that refuses to fit the standard comet template. Early spectra from ground-based telescopes showed strong emission lines of neutral nickel, Ni, at 3,414 angstroms, while the usual signatures of iron, especially FeI, were almost absent. In typical solar system comets, nickel and iron appear together, their lines rising and falling in tandem as the nucleus sheds metal-rich dust. Here, the nickel lines were clean and persistent, but iron lagged behind the noise floor barely detectable even in stacked exposures. The signal-to-noise ratio for NY crossed the threshold for robust detection, yet FEI remained stubbornly weak, an imbalance not seen in previous cometry spectra. Analysts combed through the raw data, checking for calibration errors and atmospheric contamination, but the pattern held across multiple nights and instruments. The standard cometry bands, C2 and Cn, were present but subdued, suggesting a dust and gas mix richer in metals and poorer in volatile organics than most known comets. This composition, if confirmed by follow-up with the James Webb Space Telescope, would mark a sharp departure from the norm. Metal-rich iron-poor comets are rare even in the outer solar system, and virtually unknown among interstellar visitors. The chemistry has implications for both the object's origin and its optical behavior. Unusual metal ratios can alter how sunlight scatters through the coma, changing both color and polarization. If the nickel dominance is intrinsic, it could point to formation in an environment with radically different stellar nucleosynthesis or to selective processing as the object traveled through interstellar space. For now, the missing iron stands as a forensic clue, deepening the mystery of what 3i slash Atlas is made of and how it came to cross into the solar system. Number 3. The most visually arresting feature of 3i slash Atlas is a plume that appears to stream forward toward the Sun, a geometry that upends the textbook image of a comet. In standard cometary physics, the solar wind sweeps dust and gas away from the nucleus, sculpting a tail that always points anti-sunward, no matter which way the comet moves. But here, Time series imaging from Gemini South and the Nordic Optical Telescope captured a faint, fan-like extension jutting sunward, almost as if the comet were venting steam from its leading edge. The effect is not just a trick of the eye. Analysts trace the plume's orientation across multiple nights, factoring in the comet's rotation and the shifting angle of sunlight. The forward jet held steady, even as the overall coma brightened and the main tail began to unfurl behind. Projection effects can sometimes invert a tail's appearance, creating so-called anti-tails when Earth's line of sight slices through the comet's orbital plane. But here, the geometry defies easy explanation. The plume's alignment with the Sun-comet axis persisted through a range of phase angles, resisting the usual explanations tied to perspective or orbital tilt. Some researchers have pointed to rare precedents, comets with active vents near the subsolar point or with jets triggered by buried pockets of volatile ice, but even these cases rarely produce a forward-facing fan so distinct at this distance from the sun. The mechanics of such a jet raise deeper questions. If outgassing is strong enough to launch dust sunward, why doesn't the solar wind immediately sweep it back? 
Is the nucleus spinning in a way that channels jets along its orbital path, or is there a transient vent exposed only at certain rotation phases? The time series models suggest a stable, repeating pattern, not a random outburst. That regularity has fueled speculation well beyond mainstream comet science. Fringe forums and UFO enthusiasts have revived the old sun-siphoning hypothesis, proposing that the object could be drawing energy directly from the solar wind or even the sun itself, a claim with no support in current physics, but one that lingers in the cultural conversation. For astronomers, the forward jet is a testable anomaly. Future observations, especially as 3i slash Atlas draws closer to the sun and rotates through new viewing geometries, will reveal whether the sunward plume is a fleeting projection, a persistent vent, or something altogether new. The morphology of the coma, its shape, brightness, and directionality, now stands as a litmus test for the comet's underlying composition and rotational dynamics. The next anomaly will take this visual puzzle and connect it to the object's sheer mass and size, deepening the mystery of what kind of body can produce such behavior. Number 2. The size of 3i slash Atlas stands as its most jarring statistical outlier. Early photometric modeling, drawing on the brightness of its coma and the faint glint of the nucleus itself, returned a diameter close to 5 kilometers, more than three times wider than either of the previous interstellar visitors. Mass calculations, anchored in standard albedo assumptions, and the observed rate of sunlight reflection yield an estimate above 33 billion tons. By every measure, this is a heavyweight, a body that dwarfs not just Oumuamua and Borisov, both under one kilometer, but nearly every comet ever seen entering from outside our solar system. Avi Loeb and his colleagues at Harvard flagged this as a major anomaly. According to the prevailing models of interstellar object populations, for every giant like 3i slash Atlas, there should be hundreds of thousands of smaller fragments, pebbles, boulders, even city block-sized shards, crossing the same cosmic highways. Yet in the years since surveys like PanStars and Atlas began sweeping the skies, only two small interstellar objects have been catalogued before this behemoth. The expectation, grounded in the physics of stellar debris and the statistics of ejected bodies, is clear. The big ones are rare, the small ones common, and the odds of spotting a giant before the swarm of pebbles approach zero. Instead, the first three interstellar objects found by humanity form a lopsided sequence, small, small, then suddenly, massive. This size frequency puzzle has sharpened the debate over detection bias. Are our telescopes missing a hidden population of dim, fast-moving fragments, or is something about 3i slash Atlas itself, its reflectivity, its odd trajectory, or its sheer bulk, making it stand out against the cosmic background? The photometric derivation, built from dozens of observatories and cross-checked against thermal models, holds up under scrutiny. Analysts accounted for every variable – dust scattering, coma enhancement, even the possibility of a binary core. The answer stayed the same. The nucleus is big, the mass is immense, and the detection order defies expectation. For astronomers, this anomaly underpins every other mystery about 3i slash Atlas. Its enormous mass explains the comet's resistance to outgassing-driven acceleration, a stability that will become crucial in understanding its path through the solar system. The weight of this object is not just a number, it is the foundation for every physical process that follows, from the formation of its coma to the trajectory it carves through planetary space. The question lingers, why did we find a giant before the swarm? And finally, in first place, the most improbable anomaly of 3i slash Atlas unfolds in its planetary flybys and the remarkable steadiness of its path. On October 3rd, 2025, the comet swept past Mars at a distance of just 28 million kilometers, a near miss in cosmic terms. Orbital analysts at the Minor Planet Center and JPL ran Monte Carlo simulations to estimate the odds of such a close approach for a random interstellar object. The answer, less than 5 in 100,000. That's below 0.005%. The numbers are not just low, they're nearly off the chart for chance alignment. The geometry compounds the puzzle. The comet's low inclination, ecliptic hugging orbit, set it up for a chain of planetary encounters. First Mars, then a projected pass near Venus, 
and later, a distant approach to Jupiter. Each flyby would be rare on its own, but the sequence, timed and spaced with such precision, strains the limits of statistical expectation. The trajectory was locked in by the time 3i slash Atlas entered the solar system. No gravitational assist or late-stage nudge could have tweaked its course so delicately after the fact. For dynamicists, this is the apex of orbital coincidence, a path that seems almost optimized for planetary flybys. But the anomaly does not end with geometry. As the comet drew closer to the Sun, astronomers expected its outgassing jets, venting up to 150 kilograms of ice and dust per second, to act like thrusters, pushing the nucleus off its predicted track. For most comets, these non-gravitational accelerations, or NGAs, are measurable and often dramatic. 2i slash Borisov, the previous interstellar visitor, showed NGA shifts near 100 km per day. Hale-Bopp, a solar system giant, clocked in at over 10 km per day at peak activity. Even Oumuamua, with its mysterious acceleration spikes, veered by up to 1,000 km per day during its brief pass. 3i slash Atlas, by contrast, barely budged. Across months of astrometric tracking, data from 227 observatories worldwide, the reported NGA stayed below 15 meters per day squared. That's less than a tenth of a percent of Borisov's drift and orders of magnitude below the wild swings seen in Oumuamua. The comet's path remained a ruler-straight arc through space, unaffected by the jets boiling from its surface. The only way to reconcile such minimal deviation, given the measured outgassing, is with mass, immense mass. The nucleus, estimated at over 33 billion tons, absorbs the force of its own jets without flinching, like a freight train rolling through a gust of wind. Some theorists, led by Avi Loeb's group at Harvard, see a different possibility. Guidance. When the flyby sequence, the ecliptic alignment, and the unwavering trajectory are stacked together, the result is a case study in improbability. Could a natural object, however massive, thread such a needle by chance? Or is there a deeper mechanism, unknown physics or even intent, at work? For now, the scientific consensus holds to mass and luck, but the debate is far from settled. The optimized flybys and low NGA form the keystone of the 3i slash Atlas puzzle, closing the circle of anomalies and teeing up the next wave of observation and speculation as the comet's journey continues. From the curious overlap with the famed WOW signal to the astonishingly steady, massive trajectory at the top of our list, these seven anomalies make 3i slash Atlas stand out from any comet we've seen. Across all entries, a pattern emerges. 3i slash Atlas consistently defies expectations, whether it's its near-perfect ecliptic alignment, rare chemistry rich in nickel but low in iron, or the sunward jet that challenges textbook comet behavior. Yet, it's the combination of a giant nucleus, five times larger than prior interstellar visitors, and its improbably optimized planetary flybys with minimal non-gravitational acceleration that truly set it apart. Each item earned its place by being statistically rare or physically puzzling compared to known comets and even other interstellar objects. Together, these anomalies reveal just how little we understand about what drifts between the stars, and how much discovery still awaits. 3i slash Atlas isn't just another space rock. It's a reminder that our solar system remains open to cosmic surprises.